A hard day's work for Somerset as North East leads Hampshire reply. Despite putting on 408 runs, Somerset didn't have it all their own way against Hampshire, and the surface began to help the bowlers. That might go some way to explaining why their last six batsmen managed to add just 34 runs to the total after such a good start from Abel, Hildred, Banton and Bartlett. The visitors resumed on 15 for one and started the day in similar fashion to the way in which they'd ended it with an early wicket. Weatherly was the man to go, caught behind off Overton for 14, just 40 minutes into the day's play. But if Somerset were hoping that would set the tone for the morning session, they'd be bitterly disappointed. India international Ajinka Rahane was now joined by Sam Northeast, and the pair began to establish a Hampshire foothold in the game, opportunities drying up for the home bowlers as the pair shared a 50-run partnership. They brought up the 100 a few overs before lunch, reaching the interval 105 for two, with both batsmen set and searching for their half centuries. Northeast would be the first man to get there, the four off Gregory, the telling blow. Rahane would reach his own 50 in the same way a few overs later, a four through point helping him to the milestone. Their partnership was worth 101 runs when it was finally broken. Jack Leach extracting enough turn to find Rahane's edge, Gregory gleefully taking the catch at slip to see the number four depart for 55. That brought Rousseau to the crease, and the South African got into his work quickly, scoring at a runner ball early in his innings. He'd be there as skipper Northeast would reach his century, whipping Bess for a four through mid wicket to get there. Bess would get his revenge, removing Northeast for 101, caught by Tom Abel at mid wicket. Another would come in his next over. Russo out LBW for 44 to the spinner. Fuller and Barker, seeing Hampshire through to tee at 249 for five, still trailing by 159 runs. The sixth wicket pairing continued in the same vein at the resumption of play, not scared to take the odd risk as Somerset struggled to create opportunities. They take the new ball at the first available opportunity, Hampshire now closing in on 300, and it had helped create the breakthrough with the batting side on 306. Overton back into the attack with a new cherry in hand, found the edge through to Davis, Barker out for 38. The Somerset bowler looked rejuvenated and had another wicket with the first ball of his next over, Fuller looking to swat a short one away, caught down the leg side for 37. Crane and Abbott slowed the scoring, unable to get Overton and Gregory away, and the pressure would finally tell Abbott, caught behind for five, the Somerset man's fifth of the innings. Despite the injury that saw him give up the gloves in the first innings, Tom Alsop would come out to bat, moving very gingerly at the crease. He'd be shielded from the strike by Crane, and the pair would stick it out to the close at 329 for eight, trailing Somerset by 79. The league leaders had been given a taste of their own medicine, only the new ball bowling of Jamie Overton causing real concern in the Hampshire ranks, earning him his third career fifer. The key partnership had been the fourth wicket pairing of Rahane and North East, earning themselves a 50 and a 100 respectively as they anchored their side's innings.